Hello everybody, this is Nick from Bimpure and today we're answering a question from a member of the Bimpure community. It is Benoit Kenisset and he's asking, I'm looking for a parameter that I can apply to the chairs in my meeting room family, allowing for random variations in orientation within a set minimum and a maximum degree. So uh, let's go to this uh, view and you can see we already have a few chairs placed and I have created a Dynamo script that does what uh, Benoit required. You can see here in the Dynamo player, I can select this script. And here you can see select model elements. So I'm going to select all the chairs in this view. And then I can select an angle variant. So it's how much randomness, how much, how big of an angle uh, it allowed to go. So let's set it at 10 degrees. So it can go from minus 10 to 10 degrees difference. And let's run the script. And you can see that all the chairs will get a random angle variation. Now let's try with a bigger angle. Let's say that we go all the way up to uh, 30 degrees. You run the script again. You can see that the angle is now much bigger for all of the chairs. This is the completed Dynamo script. Now let's recreate it from scratch and I will explain all of the steps. First, you must create a node to select all the model elements. Uh, first at the bottom left, let's set the run options to manual. Secondly, we're going to create a list count. This count how many elements have been selected. And then we're going to create a random list of number. This one and the amount of numbers is going to be the same as the number of selected elements. And then we're going to remap this range. Just for the testing sake, I can select a few chairs in this view. So for example, we currently have all right, we have selected four elements. So if I run the script, you can see that we have four element in the list count and we have generated four random numbers, but we must remap uh, the range of these random numbers because currently they are between zero and one. So we're going to remap this and I'm going to create a new number node that I'm going to call, let's call this angle variance and let's put it at 10 degrees by default. If you want it to appear in the Dynamo player, right click it and make sure that it is set to is instance. And now I'm going to create a code block. I'm going to enter minus X uh, semicolon and then X again with semicolon going to plug this number over here. And then this is going to be the new minimum and this is going to be the new maximum. And what this does, in fact, is instead of being between zero and one, the random number is going to be between minus 10 and 10, as you can see here. Uh, let's round this number because you can see currently there's a lot of digits. So I'm going to create a new round node uh, like this. And for the amount of digits, one would be good. So I'm double clicking to create a code block and I will set one digit. So let's run it again. And you can see in this case that our numbers are 10, 9.6, minus 10, 2.3. All right, so I like to group these nodes together. So I will select them all. And this will be create a random angle variance for each element. But now we must uh, add this number to the actual angle of the element because if there's already a rotation of 90 degrees or 180 degrees we must add this random number to the current angle and for that we'll be using a node from a custom package custom package call uh let's see it is location element location plus this is from the clockwork package so you must make sure to install the clockwork and I will select elements and plug it in here. And the parameter that is interesting to us is angle right here. So if I select, put the watch node in there, it says that the angle, well, it's 89.99999, which is actually uh, 90 degrees. But just to be sure, we're going to add uh, another round node like this, so I can get rid of this one, set the number and the number of digits. I'm going to create a new code block by double clicking and setting it to zero, just like this. 
And then I'm going to add a plus node to do an addition. And I'm going to add uh, this number the, to the random number that we've just generated. So if I run this again, you can see that we have a series of number between 80 and 100, which uh, makes sense since it is the variance that we've set up previously. All right, and finally, we're going to create a new node called family instance point set rotation that is right here. In this case, we must go back to the original uh, node where we selected elements and plug in right here. And then we will select this angle that we have generated and set it to degrees. So uh, let's try it out. I will run the script and you can see that these chairs have been randomly uh, rotated. You can see there is a problem though currently. They also had an 180 degrees rotation, right? So this was the original position. So to avoid this issue in the code block over here, I'm going to type enter and enter 180 degrees. It's possible that for some families, you will not have to do this step. But for some reason, for the specific chairs families, we have to do it. And we're going to add the angle to 180 degrees. And for degree, we're going to use this one instead, uh, just to make everything more clean. It's good to group all that stuff up. And this one, it's going to be called get final angle. And this one, I will call it select all elements. You can use some sort of color code to make your graph a bit more clean, something like this. And why not for this one as well? just because it looks good. And some people have like, for example, the output orange is suggested. So let's call this set rotation to elements. All right, let's try it out again and see if it works. And it does, you can see that we have the correct result. So maybe for some script, you will need this 180 degrees addition. Maybe for some families, you won't need to do it. And if you want to bring uh, this script to the Dynamo player, make sure that you select this node, right click it and select is input. Same thing for this number node call a uh, number. So it is already uh, set to is input and that's it. And you can find a link to download the script in the video description. If you enjoyed this video, check out the BIMPure membership. It includes access to our entire collection of Revit courses, downloads, families, templates, live masterclasses and more. Enroll now at beampure.com.